Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have some major updating to do. If you have been following along on our crazy journey the last couple months, you know that Rowdy made Chief and we were originally expecting to be going to Washington on our upcoming move when we detached from our command in March, but because he made Chief, he lost his orders to Washington because there wasn't a chief billet open. So basically we have kind of been in standby mode, waiting to hear what our timeline is gonna look like and where we would be going. So we found out three days ago now that we are going to be headed to San Diego, which was completely out of left field. That wasn't even on our list of places that we wanted to go. Not necessarily because we didn't want to go to San Diego. One of our top priorities with this upcoming PCS was we wanted to buy a house and start putting like equity into that. And we just couldn't do that in San Diego. So with us going to San Diego, we will not be buying a house. We will be in base housing again. That is what we are looking into at the moment. But yeah, San Diego, you guys, we have just kind of been letting it soak in. We don't have official hard orders yet. We basically were emailed by our detailer to let us know that we are being written into orders and that we should be receiving them here probably in the next week or two, which is stressful in its own because we originally were supposed to be leaving March 1st as like our detachment date. And the way these new orders are written, we are detaching as of January 1st. You guys, it is November 4th. So we now have to figure out in a month, two month span, how to get everything packed up and shipped stateside. And if you guys have been following, you know that we have been planning like a vacation. We didn't know if it was gonna happen because of the move and like the moving parts of when we would be leaving, but we did go ahead and book everything. So currently we leave the right after Thanksgiving for South Korea, and then we're gonna spend a few days in South Korea, and then we go to Thailand. We will be in Thailand for almost a week and a half, and then from Thailand we will be going to Manila, the Manila Philippines, So, and we will be spending a few days there before coming back to Guam. So. That kind of puts a wrench in our plans of getting everything done, our pack out done, shipping of the car, getting the car detailed, cleaning the house, getting everything ready to be moved because we have a 15 day vacation in the middle of this. Now, we did throw out the idea of canceling our vacation, but we're already in so deep, literally a week before we got these orders because nobody, people were like, no, there's no way, like, just go ahead and book your vacation. Like, there's no way you're gonna be moving in December anymore. So we went ahead and booked our vacation. Now our hotels and all our excursions are refundable, but we've already bought our plane tickets and we didn't buy like refundable on that because we were just like, no, full send. So we're roughly already like between hotels, excursions, and flights like $5,000 deep. So this vacation is not gonna get canceled. We are not gonna let the stress get to us. We're gonna go on this vacation and unwind and check out. And then right before vacation and right after is gonna be like, pure pure chaos i tell you that so we are just waiting for those orders so that we can start booking all of those things the pack out you know the shipping of my car and all of that so we are trying to focus on the things that we can do currently in the moment so today i called housing there in san diego to see what we qualify for since we are kind of like in a weird period because rowdy did make chief and he is frocked to chief but in the Navy's eyes, we aren't getting paid for chief yet. We won't actually get paid for the promotion until like May timeframe. So it's kind of like a weird, the Navy gives you promotions like, hey, we promoted you do this job, but we're not gonna pay you for it for like months and months and months. So that's just the Navy, but yeah. So exciting news, you guys. We have lots of fun content coming up in our future. Obviously I'm gonna be vlogging like our whole vacation and we're doing such cool stuff. We're going to see elephants. We're going to do like a boat tour of the Fifi Islands. We're going to do like a food tour, a tour of South Korea. Like we have so much planned and so much exciting content along with like 
all of the moving content so if that's something you're interested in how our overseas move back to stateside is going to go stay tuned for Yay. all of that we are pretty excited about san diego now that we like have dug deeper into it obviously not excited about not being able to buy a house but extremely excited for like all of the things like kid friendly we're gonna have disney we're gonna have legoland we're going to have san diego zoo we're gonna have sea world uh, working parks um, and we don't have to deal with winter and we're gonna still have like the nice weather year-round but also get like the cooler weather so like I can wear sweaters again so yeah lots and lots of moving parts and changes coming our way like I said we're just trying to like soak in the news and figure out where to start because we are hey we are uh, gonna have a lot of stress come here hey no sir a lot of stress in the upcoming months so we uh also with us detaching january 1st we don't get to san diego until april rowdy has to go to a three-month school in groton so we're also waiting for those orders to come out to see how they're written to see whether or not we are going to be following him to groton or if we're written into going straight to san diego if we are written into going straight to san diego then the plan is for us to go visit family we are already going to go visit rowdy's family for multiple weeks and then we might go stay with my family for a couple months while he's in school and then rowdy will meet us there to visit and then we'll go to san diego so stay tuned to see how plans solidify today i plan on just doing some decluttering around the house i need to start like kicking it in high gear since like we are leaving in less than like two months and we are gonna go to the exchange. I need to go talk to the auto shop about scheduling a clean out of my car. Sorry, he's being as noisy as he can be. Uh, a clean out of my car so that it'll be like ready to ship and a couple other things. So just stay tuned, let's bring you along on the day. Comfortable, and no one seems to hold me like you do. Mm -hmm. You're so wonderful, a star could never shine as bright as you. Mm -hmm. Even the dark days still see light, even the birds still sing at night. Every word just comes out right when I'm with you, with you. I feel so lucky I met you And I still um, can't believe that I get to See those eyes from more than tonight Swear you must have felt from the sky And I feel um, so lucky I met you It's not logical The way I feel when you walk in the room Not optional. How gravity just pulls me right to you, to you. Mm -mm. Even the dark they still see light. Even the birds still sing at night. Every word just comes out right when I'm with you, with you. I feel so lucky I met you, and I still. So we are home now. We got the car detailing scheduled for the week we get back. We got it scheduled for December 13th. It is going to be like an all day thing. So basically we'll drop our car off first thing in the morning and then they said it shouldn't need to be left overnight. So it should be done that evening. And it's gonna cost us roughly $170 for like the full like shipping like package. So that's what we are going with. They do everything, cleaning the upholstery, the tires, the car, the hood, under the hood, like everything. So I'm gonna have like a nice clean car. So mommy is getting pampered. But 
We are home now and I thought I would show you like another update too. I haven't updated you guys on Nate's wall. That is officially all fixed now, thankfully, but I just wanted to give you an update on that because I finally got fed up with everything and we put in an ice complaint and I kid you not, the next day they were out here fixing every single work order that we had placed including like our screen door that we've had if you've stuck around on my channel for a long time you know the like sm gas smell that we had in our house and it's been broken since then they replaced that they replaced that the hood fan and the electrical plug his wall the mold situation everything got fixed after putting in an ice complaint so if you are having issues with anything base service wise whether that be housing the hospital the nex childcare, anything like put in an ice complaint those go directly to the co and the base cmc and they like things get taken care of because they don't want the bad publicity and they don't want like the bad stuff being spread so don't be afraid to put in an ice complaint that was our first time ever like following through and going through with one we always threatened that we would do it we did it until like finally we just got fed up but things like i'm telling you the next day everything was taken care of and they were telling us like things were back order we don't have them on island and all of a sudden like things were magically appearing so don't be afraid to put in an ice complaint if you're unsure of how to put one in let me know down below i'd be more than happy to walk you through how to do one or if you guys would like me to do a video on how you actually put in an ice complaint i'd be more than happy to do that as well but his room is officially fixed we are still having a little bit of a bug problem when they replaced the wall and cleaned it up we did have a bug guy come out and spray the inside and outside of our house but i'm still finding these like black little flying ant things so they are coming back out on tuesday that was the soonest appointment they had to spray inside and outside again so hopefully that will be a solution to our problem if not well hell we only have two months left anyway also while we were out nate got a haircut today let's see it bubba it's a little rough so normally we take him to one of the children's places. They have one out in Hagatna, and then the first time he got a haircut was in Washington. And they're like a kid's place where you like sit in the airplane or the fire truck and like you get your haircut, very kid friendly. Well, we decided to try to like do a quick haircut today at the NEX to see how he would do and have him like sit on one of our laps. And it was an epic fail. He hated it, he cried. He was squirming like so i don't blame the lady but it is definitely not our finest moment in a haircut but it's gonna do his hair is shorter now and it'll do till the next one we get his hair grows so fast that i'm not really worried about it but that was our experience there face guy and told me that's what you needed that's in my face Yeah Cause you were kind of one and that was easy Watching, waiting Watching, waiting problems Watching, waiting Watching, waiting problems Baby I want that you take it out of me on your breath but in my head I still think you be Hold on a second Okay, let's go. Let's keep going. All right. All right, you guys.
guys so we just got finished at the Kia dealership that's here on Guam so that we could inquire about my recall and getting that taken care of but they didn't really have an answer for us they wrote us a letter that said we should be able to ship it but they're not sure the guy who normally answers those questions is off today so she messaged him and then she's going to give us a call back so we can hopefully schedule that to get it shipped but they also said because we're on Guam that they aren't always able to take care of every single recall so if that were to happen they would basically issue us a letter that says they can't take care of that recall here on island so we're kind of hit a wall for the day we can't take care of that but we tried but we are headed to Chili's now to get some food and kind of an early dinner. We are pretty hungry. I'm pretty hungry. Are you hungry? Not really. No? Well, I'm hungry. Well, we ate a lot of chicken. I didn't eat a lot. I wasn't really, I didn't have an appetite earlier. So mm. me and Nathan are going to devour everything at Chili's. Oh, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to eat. Well, yeah. So that's where we are headed at the moment. I also was able to call our new housing that is in San Diego and figure out what houses we oh sorry the road in front of us close but we were able to call the housing and figure out what houses we qualify for and then figure out what our priority list is that we want to put in this week when we get orders so that is the plan and oh Stephanie is calling us We are home now. Nathan's mad because I just brushed his teeth and he hates his teeth being brushed. But we are going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I know it was a pretty short one today, but we just wanted to update you guys on everything going on and then we can vlog in the future. So if you guys like our videos, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment on what you're looking forward to seeing from us in the upcoming months. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss another update with our vacation and our move. We will see you guys very soon. Bye guys! Bye. Say bye Nene! Say bye bye! bye, -bye. <laughs> Good job! <laughs>